Hey guys, this is Srini and you're watching Python tutorial videos on my YouTube channel, Python for Microscopist. Uh, the last few uh, tutorials, we've been focusing on uh, Pandas library in Python, and this is an amazing library for data handling, data manipulation. So uh, let's continue understanding this library. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to handle missing data in Pandas. And let's use the same csv file we've been using until now for example uh, i mean this this csv file has uh, the first column lists the set second column image number and so on and uh, this fourth column manual 2 has a lot of missing values okay so uh, and the third column manual has some missing values and I believe all the auto, because it's an automated way of doing analysis, they actually load all the images. So we do not have any missing values in these three columns here. So extend this to any example. Yeah, this is nothing but a CSV file where you have some columns and rows and some of these values are missing. And what are we going to do about it? Okay, let's get back to uh, our uh, spider interface and I'm going to copy and paste these two lines from my other file. So uh, the first line again we are importing pandas as pd and the next one is defining the data frame where we are reading a csv file directly and assigning uh, that to our data frame. And if you print uh, df.head you can actually see what values do we have. Yeah I'm in the top five uh, rows. So the column number one is labeled unnamed zero image manual and so on so because we did not have any label for the column the first column it kind of gave it a name which is unnamed zero now the first thing you can see is manual two here we have a whole bunch of missing data so it's an easy decision it's an easy decision uh, right here which is let's just go ahead and drop that column altogether. Okay, so the way to drop the column is df dot drop. Okay, now before actually dropping, if you want to understand, I mean, now we opened it in Excel and we saw the information, but what if you want to understand how much missing data you have? The first thing you can do is actually uh, understand print df dot. There is a function called is null. Okay. And it's gonna print out whether it is true or false. If I run it, it prints out, okay, uh, this column, the first three is false, meaning they're not null, okay? It's a double negative there, meaning there is a value there. And all of this true means it's it's missing data. There is nothing, there's nothing there, okay? So is null gives you a good idea about uh, how much missing data you're working with. Now, uh, let's delete this, and uh, we were doing something. Yeah, let's actually uh, drop. Um, it's the manual two column, I believe, manual space two, no, manual two, and axis equals to one, right? Because that is our column. And now let's go ahead and print it, and you can see the manual two is gone, okay? So this is the best way. You know, if you have a lot of missing data, uh, if you, uh, I mean, if you have a lot of, like the entire column is useless in this example, if you do not have a lot of missing data, for example, like our manual has uh, a few, uh, few, few entries where you have this missing data, it also makes sense to drop those rows. So, for example, let me, uh, yeah, let's drop that and let's also do df equals to df dot drop an A. So what this does is it drops all the rows with missing uh, uh, data. And the, uh, and, and, and the data can be missing from any of the columns. It doesn't matter. In a given row, if there is a not a number, if there is missing information, if an empty cell, if you want to think from an Excel point of view, it's going to drop that. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's actually print the dot top uh, 25. And let's assign this to DF and okay let's go ahead and print it and if you uh if you remember like uh number 12 is not a number okay so uh it should have actually dropped that uh well we are actually printing df not df2 let's keep an eye on the same number 12 number 12 is missing we don't have it anymore 
that's what drop NA actually does. It drops that entire entire uh, row. Okay. Now, what do we do? Uh, let's actually look at is. Uh, I think uh, uh, let's do one one more thing. Let's understand. Uh, let's go back to this topic of is null, and then one other uh, function that I forgot to mention is df dot is null right we looked at if i can type it just to remind you we looked at this it gives you true or false um what did i do oh uppercase p let's go back and print this again so it's going to give you true or false yeah but instead of true or false if you just want to know how much data is missing you just need to do some okay so let's go ahead and print this one more time and you would see that uh, in the manual column you have six uh, missing uh, or six NANs. In manual two, it's 97 NANs. And that's why we chose to drop this entire manual two because it's useless. And uh, we chose to do drop NA for dropping individual rows. Now, uh, you can actually uh, the another way of uh, dealing with this missing data instead of dropping is uh, uh, what they call imputation. In in the in, uh, you know the machine learning guys use this term called imputation. Uh, it's just a fancy term to say fill it with whatever you want. Okay, uh, what do you want to fill it with? Uh, typically, uh, what does it make sense? So let's actually look at uh, uh, look at print uh, the statistics for. Uh, the manual row, okay? So print, uh, let's actually look at DF2. Let's stay with uh, DF2. Um, DF2, which one? Manual row, manual column, sorry. And dot describe, okay? Remember this describe from my previous tutorial. All, all I'm trying to do now is to look at, oh, let's not drop. Oh, sorry. Let's go back to DF. I don't want to drop it. You remove this altogether because we want to uh, instead of dropping I want to show you how to fill those with some value okay so the describe actually let's describe this one more time the describe gives us that the mean here is one about 100 so maybe we should fill the missing values with 100 with the mean value that's that's a logical way of uh, doing things right so uh, the way to uh, the way to do that is df, okay? What do we want to fill? Again, manual with uh, fill na, okay? The missing values with what? With 100. That's pretty much it. Uh, I can assign this as df equals to, but because since I'm already here, I'm going to just do in place equals to true. This is nothing but, uh, this is pretty much same as saying df equals to df, whatever this thing is, okay? Uh, it's just updating the existing data frame. That's all the in place equals to true means. And again, let's go ahead and do df dot head. And let's print the top 25. And remember the 12th entry, the index 12. Now, instead of NAN, we filled it with 100. I don't know if you, if you, if you remember, that was NAN before, right? So we filled it with uh, 100. So uh, this is not uh, this is not a, a bad way of dealing with uh, missing values. And uh, I found another way for this one. Uh, what I wanted to do is, I mean, basically what we did until now. Let me uh, summarize this. We looked at the entire the average, the mean of all of these values, and filled these missing values, you know, with that specific value, which is nothing but 100, okay? So that's what we did here, okay? Fill NA is nothing but it fills the NA with whatever value you supply, and we supplied a value of 100. Now, uh, what if we want to fill this with an average of these three? Well, that's a bit more tricky, okay? And I, it took about 10 minutes for me to experiment and find out a way because I'm not a super duper programmer. So it took me 10 minutes, okay? I wanna show you exactly how to do that in a second. But if uh, in this example, it does make sense, right? Because these three are 
from automated analysis and this is manual analysis. So we can fill uh, this with automated analysis average. So uh, I'm not going to type this because it's a very long uh, it's a very long thing to type. So all I'm going to do is let me delete this and I'm going to just uh, show you what I did. So you can see exactly. There you go. So this is what I have done. Let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, wow, that's a pretty long. Actually, let's zoom in and then I'll scroll because I want you to be able to read it. OK, so uh, the way I have done that here. OK, what, what's it saying? Undefined name NP. Of course, I'm using NumPy. I, I got blank over there, import numpy as np, right, um, import, no, yeah, okay, so uh, let's try to understand what's going on, let's, uh, I'm using the lambda function, again, uh, that's a separate topic by itself, uh, uh, go ahead and uh, look uh, at other videos, and if I have time, I'll actually record, record a video about lambda function, but all we are saying is, this is nothing but uh, we are putting an uh, if and else within all in one line. That's all I'm trying to do here. In fact, let me uh, create some room on the right hand side. Well, as much as I can, uh, we'll still end up scrolling this, but that's okay. Okay, uh, if within NumPy, there is a function called is not a number. Okay, that's exactly what I'm using. If uh, within NumPy, there is a function called is not a number. Okay, uh, if the row manual is not a number, okay, uh, then do this, else keep the row manual value as is, access equals to one. And what do you do here? Uh, all I'm trying to do here is row auto threshold two, threshold three, threshold, oh, I should have done threshold four here, sorry up to three and four divide by three this is nothing but just take an average and i'm rounding it yeah because this is number of cells so there is no fraction uh, so i'm rounding that value and df dot apply uh, if you don't understand this just blindly apply this if in case you need it to you find yourself in the need of taking an average of columns and then applying it there are a few other ways to do this but this is the best way i figured out uh, in about 10 minutes of my time. So let's go ahead and run this, okay? Again, filling the missing values, okay? Uh, it, with an average right here, else keep the row manual value as is, okay? That's all we are trying to do here. So let me create more room on this side now and scroll up and run this and you can see that, oh, I'm not dropping not a number there, but we are just focusing on this and uh, just look at our index 12. It gave a value of 80, which apparently is an uh, average of 65, 90, and 84, okay? So the rounded to the nearest uh, integer, that is 80, okay? This is another way of dealing with missing data. Anyway, the summary of this tutorial is it's probably uh, uh, you'll find yourself uh, in a situation where you have to deal with missing data in Pandas. The easiest way to do deal with missing data is just drop it, just delete that data. But sometimes you may not have that luxury because uh, uh, if you have 100 data points and of those 25 of them is missing data, then the question is what is the right thing to do? Should you drop it? or should you fill it with something? If you fill it with something, what should you fill it with? Is it, is it the mean? Is, is there a different way of logically filling it? Do you look at the neighboring values? You know, you can also do that, right? I mean, can you fill it with uh, uh, an average of the neighboring values? That's another way of dealing with it. So what is the best way to deal with that? And that's up to the use case. That's up to exactly what you're trying to do. And I showed you a few ways of doing this, but again, uh, uh, the uh, online community is incredibly, incredibly nice. If you have any question about exactly how to do something, you will find an answer online, surprisingly, you know, so, uh, which is great. So please go ahead and do that. And again, if you like the content of this video, please go ahead and like this uh, video, 
If you like the content that I'm actually covering uh, over the series of my videos, please subscribe to this channel. And of course, if you have something to say about this video, please uh, go ahead and leave a comment. Thank you very much and let's cover a different topic in the next tutorial.